Okay, here is the video for doing uh, how to uh, get OS9 applications into the Sheep Shaver um, OS9. Uh, okay, now I will tell you this requires the download. It requires finding the software, extracting the software, which more than likely will have to be, you will have to use uh, stuff at Expander, and um, they, uh, I will include the base program, obviously. Excuse me. And um, well, here here it is. And you will use. In, you have to make you. Yeah, you have to use disk utility. And again, for reference, I'm using. Um, this is on a uh, 10.7.5 system. So here we go. Uh, first off. After you download and extract the OS9 and get it running, you'll run this. Now, oh, I gotta move this out of the way. It will low, switch to low resolution. I don't know about you. Well, maybe on your monitors it'd be different, but with mine, I can't run it any higher than 800 by 600. And it works fine. I mean, it works fine. About this Mac, our computer, 904. Nine and poof, done. Uh, system, wait, system profiler is right here. There is no networking on here, and I don't feel like getting it, trying to get it to work, so it doesn't matter. Uh, da, 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 devices and volumes. It has, this is a, wait, this is the main drive, it is a 100 megabyte drive. It only has 12 megabytes available. Now, this is the reason, one of the reasons why you need to do exactly what you're doing. Now, everything's fine and dandy. You have no net access, so you can't really go and download programs. So, this is how you would get it onto there. First off, you have to open up, wait, no, Disk Utility. New image. Uh, now, this is where it comes in. Sheep Shaver will only recognize certain file t uh, file names. And, um, well, for this installation, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be using one. I usually use two. So, for to make it easy, name your file 1200, capital M, M, E, G, and that's it. Now, you want, I'm going to set it to be 500 megabyte, 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 megabytes, so I have some breathing room and extended and everything else should be fine and you want to place it in the shared folder after users that's another thing shared folder this one and then create now it should mount it automatically attach it whatever there you go if that's attached you can push close open up the disk image now this is where you replace your software now this one is full of two programs. I have Photoshop 4 and I have AppleWorks 5. And in the other one I have SimCity 2000. So I'm going to copy over SimCity 2000. Close that. And I'm going to copy over everything else. Now I kept the installation files in here simply because I don't feel like you know dealing with it. I don't feel like screwing with it to clean it up. So, okay, here, now, to make sure it's in there, I should have that there, it's right there. This will be recognized on startup of Sheep Shaver. Now, you can put the installation files there. You have to extract them. You cannot mount an ISO or an IMA or an IMG into this. It has to be in that folder, basically like, like setting up a shared folder on Windows. It has to be there. The installation files have to be there. They don't have to be installed, but they have to be there. Now, and see, it now loads disk image. No matter what you do, it will be named that. Now, install AppleWorks. That's you know how to install software. It ends up being right there. Photoshop. Now, I'm going to do the SimCity. Come on. And run slow, it doesn't matter. Boop, 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 boop.
Runs like shit, but, uh, you know. Done. Close. Fill. I'm gonna start a disaster. I have no fire department, so. So, where did it start today? Right there. There it is. There you go. Alright, but basically that's how you do that. No, don't save it. That was SimCity to, 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 yeah, 2000. Now, Apple Works. And again, you don't have you don't need a uh, registration serial with this one. I'm gonna do word processing. There you go. Basically that. Don't save. Now we'll go back. It's slow. It is slow. Probably faster than a iBook, but you know, slow. Photoshop. This oh, I should also mention that even on the previous videos, I'm actually running this off an SSD. So uh, it may be faster than on a standard platter hard drive. Let's do this. Close this out. Back to well, Apple Works is still open. You know what? I don't have that much memory on this system, so I'm going to make sure I close applications. There. This is Adobe Photoshop 4.0. Image size. Eh, okay. There you go. As soon as it builds it. And poof. It's uh, it's it's doing its thing. Come on. Basically, yeah. There you go. I made an X. There you go. All right. Anyway, back to quit this. Poof. Bye bye. Don't save. And is anything else open? Yeah. This bullshit. Piece of shit. And that's that. I mean, I, I really don't know what else to tell you, what to show you. Sherlock 2. Don't show this again. Piss off. And, yeah. And it has a Unix drive for some reason. I don't know. But anyway. That's pretty much that. What's in the trash can? Equator. E equation editor font. Whatever. Piss off. And there you go. I don't know what else more to tell you, but uh, have fun with it.